Hey friends, I am so excited to bring you this particular wig review today. The wig on my head is a human hair, budget friendly human hair wig by Emma Hairpiece. It's in this gorgeous gray color that has just slight hints of lavender and some light, not heavy, and it's got this really fun blonde highlighting. It is so amazing. Now there are some cautions that I have for you, but overall this wig is awesome. If you have a small head, that will be one of the cautions, and are looking for a gray human hair wig, then you want to watch this video. Stay tuned. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I do wig reviews, tutorials, I suffer from hair loss and I talk about that as well and I'm so happy that you're here for this video today. I know so many of you are looking for gray wigs and you're just not finding ones that will work for you. Emma Hairpiece sent me this wig upon my request. I reached out to them and asked them some questions about this piece as I was browsing their website because I do hear from so many of you looking for something similar to this wig and they graciously sent it to me so that I could share it with all of you. Let's take a look at this piece from all sides and then I'll start telling you all about her. Now I want you to know that this is air dried. I have not styled this piece and she dries with this really cute wave. So if you're looking at this right now, not loving what you see as far as the styling goes, it hasn't been styled, so you can curl this. You can straighten it. You can do whatever you want with it. Help! Hold on, I gotta fix my light. The show must go on. You can do anything you want with this. The one challenge, and this is always going to be a challenge with a short cut. This wasn't cut on your head, so the way that it lays, the length on the sides, all of that has not been customized to you. When it comes to human hair wigs, we often need to do some customizing to make them our own. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna include all of my measurements in the description, including this measurement right here, so that you can try to get a sense of how this will lay on you based on my measurements compared to yours. Let me just give you the caution, the major caution that I have about this piece. The cap is very small. They only have it available at their website, <coughs> excuse me, at their website in a small cap size and on the website it says 21 to 21 and a half circumference. Well, I have a 21.25 circumference. It does fit my circumference really comfortably. It's nice and snug, but it's not too tight. The problem is the rest of the cap is really, really small. This is not giving me good coverage on the sides. The ear tabs are sitting kind of up high. You can see all my bio hair right here. If I had like light gray bio hair, that would be no problem at all. Actually, I would be really happy with this because I do like to incorporate my bio hair on the sides with my wigs, which is why I don't buzz that part of my head. And I think it helps make it look so realistic. I can't do that with this piece because it's so small in me and my hair doesn't match. And I'm not gonna be able to use a root powder to get it to match like I can typically do with darker wigs. This is where you really need to pay attention to my measurements. If your measurements are the same as me from here to here and from ear to ear, this isn't going to fit you. If you have gray bio hair to blend, that will not be an issue. You can absolutely blend it on the sides. You do have to be a fair amount smaller than me for this cap to fit you over the top of your head. If your circumference is 21.25, it's going to fit you fine. I do think I think it could fit up to a 21 and a half as well. Um, it's not restrictively tight on me, but I just want to throw that out there that this cap is running super tiny. So for my super petite wig sisters, I hear you guys all the time and I don't have a lot of great solutions for you most of the time except to send you videos that I found showing how to make a wig cap smaller. This is going to be maybe the cap you're looking for. So we've got ear tabs on this one. There are combs all throughout. 
I don't use the combs. They don't bother me, but they can totally be cut out if you don't want the combs. They're there to help tuck into your bio hair and give the wig some security. You can also tuck it under a wig grip if you want to wear a wig grip. The reason I have a wig grip on for this video is because this is so small on me, I'm really having trouble keeping it in place. It wants to shift around because it's just not fitting well. And I really want you guys to be able to see this awesome hairline without my bio hair getting in the way. So I put this on. I'll show that to you in a moment. We've got a lace front. It's a, I didn't measure man. I think it's probably a five or six by five or six. So the lace front kind of ends right here. I'll show you how that can sometimes be a challenge because when it ends like right around here, you can sometimes see parts of the cap. I have tricks that I do with my wigs that are like this that make that no problem whatsoever. This is all parting space. It's a really nice lace that they've used on here. It's very transparent. We've got closed wefting throughout. We do have an extended nape and we've got hook adjusters. And I'll, I was just going to show you something with the color, but I'll take it off at the color segment and show it to you again. I just think what they've done with this color is so unique. All right, so let's talk about this lace front. It is so seamless and stunning. It is so good. So once it's in place, you cannot see that lace front. No knotting. It is so good. But here's where it can sometimes be a challenge with wigs like this. You can see the transition, and this isn't unique to this piece. I find it on quite a few of the five inch lace fronts that are more budget friendly. This wig is currently retailing for $289. I have a 10% discount code that you can use as well to save 10%. That is amazing. This is Remy Human Hair. It's really nice hair. The hair feels so soft, so silky. But we do have to make trade-offs when we look at budget pieces. And what I think sometimes happens with Emma hair piece wigs, I think they use really great hair. I've been so happy. I've had, I don't know, six of their wigs. I've been so happy with their wigs. But sometimes you have to make concessions with the cap. So on this one, if you wanted to style it like I have it all up and back, you're going to want to make sure that you pull just a little bit of hair down for that transition. I have a wig where I just tuck a little bit of the hair right underneath that spot right there. It hides the transition and it's not really all that noticeable. So that's my trick that I use when I have a wig that has a more narrow lace front and you can see that transition. But you can style this with the hair down. Like I said, I haven't taken any heat to this. I air dried it. But if you wanted to pull the hair forward, if you wanted to wear this with a full bang, you absolutely can. Like I said, I'm going to practice some styling with this one and whatever it is I come up with, I'll make sure it's attached at the end of this video. If not a quick little video, then pictures. But please know that you can curl this, you can straighten it, you can put, you can bring the bangs forward. There's a lot that you can do with this piece to make it your own and have it in a style that you like. That's the beauty of human hair. You can style it just like you would your bio hair. I also think this is such a great density. Now, one of the challenges I hear a lot from my, my older wig sisters, you know, our hair thins as we get older, just naturally. A lot of us have abnormal thinning, which is why we've come to wigs. But as we get older, our hair just naturally thins and gets finer. So one of the challenges with wig wearing when you're maybe in your 70s, and I'm not saying that you have to do this. I believe every woman can wear any hair they want to, any color. I think we should just embrace hair like we do jewelry and makeup, but I know a lot of you aren't comfortable with that and you'd like to find a wig that has a more natural density that sort of matches how another person your age's hair would be. I get that. We don't want to stand out in a crowd. This is such a great density. I think it's really normal, a natural density. It's not heavy density. And I do think that they've done just the best job with the construction of this so that it lays beautifully. I think it can be tricky to buy short human hair wigs. I think they've done a phenomenal job with this. You may want to trim it up more on the sides. You may want to trim it up a little bit more in the back. You can do any of those things. This has come to you with a template and you can now take it and make it your own. So let me summarize. 
This is Remy Human Hair. That just means that all the cuticles are aligned in the same direction. They've done a great job with making this in this really beautiful gray color with some pops of other color, which may or may not be your preference, but I think it's super fun. You can style this any way you want. You can get it cut more. The biggest, biggest caution I can give you, this cap is super, super small. So I would definitely compare your measurements to mine. You need to be smaller than me, ear to ear and front to nape for this to fit you, unless you have bio hair that you can blend. And if you do, your measurements, I think they could be the same as mine. I'm, I could wear this with a wig grip. I just can't blend on the sides because I don't get good coverage. But if you've got blendable hair, you can absolutely wear this even if your uh, head measurements are the same size as mine. I think this is a great one. If you've been looking for something like this, I do recommend it. I think it is really, really a good little pixie. All right, let's talk about color. This is this beautiful, I'm really hoping that the lightness won't throw my lights off too much. It's a beautiful uh, silvery gray, kind of a white silver gray. And then they've added in these pops of blonde. Can you see, like there's a pop right there. It's like a yellow blonde, pops of that all throughout. Now, for some of you who are looking just for hair that maybe looks like your hair naturally grayed that way, that wouldn't necessarily fit that bill. You know, you're looking for something that doesn't look like a fashion color, and now we've got these little pops of blonde. But I gotta tell you guys, there are a lot of women who've allowed their hair to go gray, and then they go to a salon just to get little touch-ups. They're not getting their whole head colored, but they're having little fun pops of color added. That, I believe, is what this has. It's just these little pops. It's just really, really fun. I just think it's super unique. And I do think that this appears slightly lavender in some lighting. It is not a heavy in your face lavender at all. And I do think sometimes white gray hair can do that, but I wanna be completely honest with you guys about everything that I'm observing on this piece in case you do decide to give it a try. Emma Hair Piece has a great return policy but there is a fee. I think it's $30. I'm not positive if it's the same as it used to be. Basically that covers, you know, they pay for the shipping to get it to you. It covers sort of the to and from shipping so that they're not out anything on the return. At least that's my guess. So it's not a 100% risk-free purchase if you do decide it's not for you, but it's not super expensive if you want to try it and you're just not sure if it's going to work for you. I'll put more details in the description below and the coupon code. I think it's just my name with a capital D to save you 10% off any purchase on their site. You guys, they sent me two other gray wigs, so I'm going to be presenting a couple of more gray options from them. Neither one is short like this, but I'm loving that they're getting gray pieces. So many people ask, and I pass your feedback on to any retailer that I ever work with, and Emma Hairpiece does a phenomenal job of trying to make things come to life. I asked them about a year and a half ago if they could carry some wavy pieces, so they worked on creating a wavy piece. I just love them. They are a Chinese retailer. They are overseas, but I've been working with them for two years, and I have grown to trust them. The vast majority of the feedback I get from all my wig sisters about Emma hair piece is positive. Even when somebody has to return a piece because it wasn't for them, they're still really happy with, this, with the whole process. So I just want to throw that out there. I do trust Emma hair piece. All right, you guys, let's get outside so that I can show you this color outside and then whatever I end up filming extra will be tacked on the end along with pictures. Thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys and I'm so grateful to be a part of this community with you. I'll talk to you in my next video. All right, friends, let's look at this color outside. Make sure it's in place. I'll get in the sun in a moment. The sun just came out, so we're going to get some direct sunlight on here. I am blown away by this seamless, seamless lace front. So natural. The pops of that kind of blonde are really interesting. Hopefully I'm picking that up here. So fun to have a color like this.
All right, hope that helps. Hey friends, I'm back and I wanna show you how she styled up. So I will admit, this was difficult to curl because it's very short. There's some really short layers on here. And so it was a little bit of trial and error, but here's what I did. First of all, let me show it to you all the way around. I think she turned out really cute. So here's what I did. I brushed through it and then I used a heat protectant. I really love the Beach Waver Great Barrier Heat Protectant Hairspray. You can't, the writing is white so you can't really see it. But this is my favorite heat protectant so I sprayed it all around. Um, then I used a one inch barrel curling iron. This is my Beach Waver. This actually comes in the multi-tool set. It has three attachments. It has the this is called the curly cone. It's a tapered big barrel. And then it's got the, I'm sorry, that's the mega cone. Then it's got the curly cone, which is just a smaller one. I did start with this thinking that the tapered tip would be really good on this piece. I ended up switching to just the one inch barrel. So any one inch barrel curling iron will do. I happen to love the Beach Waver because it has the auto rotating barrel. It's not plugged in right now, but when you hit the button, this rotates itself so that you don't have to try to twist your wrist and rotate. With a short wig like this, I just twisted. It only took like two twists anyway because this is so short. But this is what I used to curl it. Then when I was finished, I shook it out vigorously upside down, ran my fingers through it, put it back on my head because I did curl it on a mannequin head. I took it and I, I added a few more curls in the front because those are harder to do when it's not on your head. You don't know how they're going to lay. Then I used this great barrier because it's also a light hairspray. And I just sort of sprayed all throughout and fluffed to help hold those curls. And then I used Tressalure Wig Wax. I have shown this product over and over. It works with synthetic wigs unbelievably. It's the best styling spray I've ever used on synthetic wigs, but it also works on human hair. And I used that to just get some lift in the front here. It was laying just a little flat right there. So I took it and I sprayed it and kind of fluffed it. Another way to get a little bit of lift right on the top is to hang it upside down for a while. But that's all I did, and I think she turned out really cute. Not the easiest wig to curl because of how short she is, but it worked great. So bottom line, if you are looking for a gray wig and you haven't found what you're looking for in synthetic and human hair intrigues you, this could be one to try. The price is great, and it's got great features. It's just really small. All right, guys, I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.